Meanwhile, the Court of Appeal has suspended an order requiring President Uru Kenyatta to appoint six judges that were left out of a shortlist that had 41 judges. The order will remain in force until November 19, so the court is expected to give a ruling following an appeal that was lodged by the President, the Attorney General, Scott Murioki, with more on this story. The six judges that are not appointed by the President are High Court Judges Joel Ngugi, George Odunga, Agri Muchalule, and Weldon Korir alongside the registrar of the High Court Judith Mange and Chief Magistrate Evans Makori. On the 21st of October, the High Court ruled that based on the failure of the President to appoint the judges, they would be sworn in by the Chief Justice after 14 days, as it would be presumed that his power to appoint them had expired and his office would become powerless as far as the appointments are concerned. President Uhuru Kenyatta, through his lawyer Charles Oweru Gitonye, has argued that there is an imminent danger of embarrassment and uncertainty in the dispensation of justice if the directive remains unchallenged. According to constitutional lawyer Nordine Kagai, since the president who has representatives in the Judicial Service Commission did not table his consent on the judges during the vetting process, he cannot stop the appointment. There has been failure on the part of the president to prove any wrongdoings on, on, this, on, on these six uh, soon-to-be judges of Court of Appeal and judges of the Labour Court. The 14-day period provided by the High Court by which the six judges would be appointed is set to end on the 4th of November. In what can only be described as a certain turn of events, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has gone against multiple court orders in his tenure as president, now relies on the Court of Appeals decision, which will be made on the 19th of November. Scott Morioki for Switch TV News in Nairobi County.